Hey ladies, so welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to sh show you guys my small vanity that I created myself, hence the title DIY Do It Yourself. And I just wanted to show you guys how I did it, where I got things, hopefully maybe I'm helping someone to uh, create a vanity of their own and get ideas and wonder of prices and blah, blah, blah. But this is just a brief overview of what my mini vanity slash beauty station looks like. Actually, if you guys are wondering what that little this sunlight dot thing is it's my uh, light that I actually made myself so I will definitely show you guys how I made that as well uh, anywho uh, starting off this uh, piece of furniture I believe I got at Unique. Um, Unique is a thrift store here in the United States Unique I'm pretty sure is really popular here on the East Coast and there's just one drawer I'm gonna briefly just open it up. Uh, this is just like a lot of like health stuff, so I'm not gonna really explain that, but it comes with one drawer and down here I just put, uh, this isn't really beauty related, but I just put like a lot of laptop um, accessories down here and like a few yearbooks and some workout stuff. So that's down here. Um, over here, this is just one of my makeup bags. Look how cute it is. I just put it here because I wanted to show you guys. But uh, this over here is just uh, all of my makeup brushes. Um, cup. This is just like from like Chinese takeout. And then th these are actually not even all my brushes now that I got all these new brushes. Yay. But uh, and then I just use a jar for this one. Hey, there I am again. Um, was from, I believe, Bed Bath and & Beyond and... Um, I think it was like $10, but it's basically a standing lid. I'll show you guys right here. As you guys can tell, I put it in the back. This is just a detail of my own. You guys don't have to do it. But uh, I Velcroed, um, since my name is technically Pauline Joe, so technically I should have a P and a J, but whatever. I just wanted one letter, so I chose P. And uh, I'll take it off. Let's see. I Velcroed it on. Oops, I haven't actually taken it on ever since I put it on. So, yeah. Basically, I put Velcro right here, like on the back, so as you guys can tell and then I put it to the wall and it comes off with no problem and it's not messy I'll definitely have to find the actual name of the product but I believe I got it at Home Depot the uh, um, the velcro stuff but yeah I just thought that would be really cute you know like it's my own little space I'll put it back hopefully it doesn't fall that would really stink okay see it just pressed it back on the wall the P I believe I got at Michaels there was black and white and then just the natural uh, one without any pain is just the wood color too. But this is just another piece. This is my light uh, that I got at Ikea and I'll show you guys the detail. But it's actually, it's really cool. It's kind of, I didn't do it so I can't really give myself credit. But yeah, this is what this light looks like and it's, I just thought it was really cute. It's very modern. Actually, this light, uh, it was very affordable and I believe if you go to like Sweet Frog, Froyo, a lot of uh, frozen yogurt, uh, places have this lighting and it's from Ikea so fun fact and these are my flowers over here um fake flowers of course I just I'm really into like purpley even though this isn't really purpley but it kind of you know kind of is in the family of purple and uh so these are just my fake flowers with with its uh, cute little vase and this is from Ikea I love Ikea seriously if you guys have not gone there I would totally suggest it also their food is really good and basically this is where I put my makeup and I'll just open it really quick so you guys see how I organize it's just one whole thing I believe it was ten dollars I got it at Walmart I'll probably have to get another one because as you guys can tell like this lighting is like pushing it down and uh, so it's kind of breaking but you know it shall suffice for now but uh basically it just comes it's just clear uh this is my eye makeup on the top then all of my lip stuff in the middle drawer and then all of my face products and as well uh if you guys want to conserve space i definitely uh found a way to like as you guys can tell like these two i'm not really sure what they are but if they're in a shape like this Okay, so this is Ardell. So if it's in a shape like this, um, I just kind of put one on top of the other, just like this. So uh, I can conserve space, so it's kind of in the shape of a rectangle. So it has three drawers, and then down here, these are actually stackable. Sorry, awk. That's Those are my... Uh, pads but anywho uh these are stackable so and these were from target these are again transparent uh and they're purple i really love purple like i said and they came in 
I believe you, you can buy them individually and I figured I wanted to stack them up. And this is how I organized this. Uh, I'm actually not going to go through this. This is more like personal stuff. This is a lot of uh, nail polish stuff, even though I've claimed that I'm not crazy about it. Uh, but this is just all my nail stuff. This is all of my hair products. This, I believe my mom got in like the 80s, and I haven't tried it yet, but I definitely want to do a video with it. But uh, I just want to show you guys. Like, it's just so super rich. I'm actually going to pick it up. But, like, you can definitely tell by the ladies in, uh, like, the models in the picture that it's, like, kind of old. And, uh, sorry, the lighting is right there. But, you know, pretty standard curlers. Again, and then just uh, more personal stuff. And then right here... Again, there's a light. I'm so sorry if it bothers you, but I had nowhere else to put it. This, um... I guess, I guess seat, actually, it, I've seen other people have this, and they use it as, like, when they're sitting on the couch or in their bed, they just, like, uh, put their feet up, but I use it to actually, you know, so it's, like, more leveled with this, if that makes sense. Uh, I use this to actually sit on, and uh, I'm not gonna, like, show you guys anything in it, because there's really nothing to see, but basically, it's just, like, a cute little square. This is kind of what it looks like. Uh, I believe I got it at... Target for about $15 like three years ago, but I know that they sell them at Walmart probably for cheaper But uh, basically uh, it's so cool like that you can put stuff in it like not that I'm saying I'd ever hide like secret stuff in there, but I mean hey so if you guys need more space and you know, really don't have that much room and you guys have to work a work your way around things This chair is definitely great and it's it's pretty comfy I think so. It's, uh, but definitely if you sit on it for a long time, your back is definitely going to hurt. So the second to last thing that I wanted to show you guys, it doesn't really have to do with beauty, but anywho, as you guys can tell, what the heck is this contraption is, is what you may be thinking. But obviously it's like a lighting thing. Um, I'll take you guys around it, but basically it just moves around like this up and down all around. And the light is really, really bright, which I'm not even going to try to turn on because I might just like basically um, where this light is right here is actually where I put this light and that's where it like shines on my face technically when I make videos I should be having it from both sides but again I've been really trying to conserve space since my room is so tiny and I still want to make videos so this light has been kind of doing it for me for the past few months uh, long story short as you guys can tell this whole like uh, clasp, clasp, I guess you can say, this whole, like, thingamajig that, like, holds it together. I don't know, I was, like, twisting it because I was, like, trying to do something with it. Oh, I was trying to, like, get it on this, like, board, and it literally just broke, which was so annoying, which is why I duct taped this. But what I did is I took two pieces of cardboard and then this, uh, very sturdy piece of, like, n like a foam board. Uh, you could probably get it at, like, CVS. There's, like, a Elmer's, uh, I, I, I remember they have it because I used to do like projects for high school, but uh, they have uh, these boards, probably not the thick. This was actually from a um, really fancy birthday cake that I had for my last birthday, and this is what the cake was on. But yeah, basically, uh, so I made this like triangle with this, again, these two pieces of cardboard and then this really thick foam board, and uh, actually this thing was not strong enough, so you guys can see this is so like... So silly of me, but I put my duct tape there to hold it up, and it, it, it's it's holding pretty well. And as you guys can tell, I just taped it. Um, nothing nothing special. And then I just taped this on, and this is how the lighting works, and this is the back of it. I believe it's called a spotlight, and I believe my father purchased this at Home Depot, and then I kind of just stole it from him. Oops, and he's probably not never getting it back since I really like this light. But yeah, this is my little lighting contraption if you guys are interested. You know, again, brief overview. This is what it looks like. I created this own nightlight. It did not come in the shape of the heart, um, but I wanted a heart. Yeah, you guys can tell it's kind of like lopsided, but I have to fix that. Anywho, I just thought I'd share this with you. They are snowflakes. They were actually originally intended for like Christmas decorations, like around the house. I'll show you guys. Uh, this, it comes with like this battery thing, just double A, and you like turn it off, you turn it on. Um, the lights are not completely off in my room. That's why it doesn't look as bright. And I think the battery's dying since I've been using it for the past few months. So um, yeah, this is what my nightlight looks like.